It's SEC Baseball tonight from Bomb Stadium in Fayetteville. The Arkansas Razorbacks are home after an eight-game road trip to host the Warhawks from ULM in a two-game midweek series. Rutledge. Yeah, Jackson Rutledge, tall is definitely right. Six foot eight, goes almost 260 pounds. He's a guy that that fastball will run up into the mid to upper 90s. Francis not being held, he'll take off again, and there's a smash to Kenley. Couple of bounces. His throw is low, and Gates with the scoop on the other end to save maybe another error. Teams, and if you do, and you're located at Monroe, as Lacoste will walk to start the second, you're looking at playing H. Bunts hard to third. Martin tried to scoop it, and that's another error on the Hawks. He's going to square, and he missed it. And that was not a good sequence for Pierce Kahn. That ball hit well to right field. Back goes Kerstad at the fence, and it's going to go. Two free base runners, and Barrick clears them with a three-run bomb to right. It's also able to fall into that category. And Rutledge issues his second walk of the inning. Jordan has stolen 11 bases, and he's going to go. Pitch is a tough one to handle. That's a good throw from Opitz. And it's going to be in time with Shanty covering. And that ball smoked down the third base line and into the corner. That'll be an extra base hit for Bonfield and a good beginning to the bottom of the second with a double. Guy that knows how to pitch. That's a good call. Gates, Tomahawks one into the gap to left center field. See how Gates is running and it's not very good at all. He's limping around first. Bonfield will score easily. Arkansas is on the board, but Cole never considered. Shaddy just wore that one and that hurt. Only 75 miles an hour, but you could see the grimace. Opportunity to get Opitz some playing time. He's already squaring. And Gates just takes off to third. Nobody's covering, so how about that? Bad hammy and all. He just took off, and there was nobody left at third. That's a heads up base running well, play. That's exactly, you stole my thunder there. What a heads up play by Gates. He saw the third baseman crash. He goes, hey, I can just coast into third base. Even with He is going to hit a fly ball, and this ball is going to carry towards the track. Francis will be there to make the catch, and Opitz will get an RBI as Gates will jog home slowly and touch home plate. It's a one-run game. Kenley will get another shot. True throw this time, and there's two outs. In both of those games, so they want to come back, and they'd love to at least win two or three, if not a sweep. That ball might be out of here, and it's going to be in the bullpen and gone. Chad Bell with an opposite field home run that hugged the chalk and snuck into the Hogs' bullpen. Jake Rindle comes on out of relief after three innings from Jackson Rutledge. Wes Johnson and Dave Van Horn really want to see Jake Rindle kind of get back in the groove from a season ago. They know he's got the ability. Yeah, a couple of balls have left the park, and Barrett scored three. Now he's going to bunt. Opitz calls off Rindle. And throws out the speedy Barrett by a step at first base. Here's a payoff pitch to Sharon. Swing and a miss. So a nice job by Rindel. And Randy Bob, the Arkansas first baseman, the longest hitting streak. That's a moonshot on the infield. I'm not sure Acosta's going to catch this. Yep. He had a hard time earlier on one that didn't have the assistance of Knight. Boy, double play, though, would end the inning, and there was a stun ball. I don't think he was out at second base. Kerstad hung up by second base umpire Chris Koski. Cole does score. It's a one-run game. Let's see. Hit well to center. Cole will take it out of bounds. So Bell on base with a single to begin the Warhawk. For a second Sixth time, Kahn flew out to right field. He's going to line one to right here. And the bases are loaded. Boy, had Gates been near first going extra inning? Yeah. If Memphis doesn't win it. Strike three call, the biggest pitch of the night right there for Rindle gets the second out of the inning. Yeah, you saw the reaction. That's with the bases full of Warhawks. That one smoked to Shaddy. He went down to a knee. And that will end the inning, and the Warhawks leave three, and Troy will see if that kick starts the Hawks. Shaddy lucky to get that bat out of the way of that ball over his shoulder. 
Is he grazed by that pitch? Said it hit him in the helmet. That's what Dave Van Horn came out and said, not nah, hit him in the helmet. There was a little sound. That one's up and in, ball four. And the Hogs have two more base runners. Wind has been blowing out to right all game long. And that ball shot to right, back towards the fence. Goodbye. A three-run shot by Evan Lee, and the Hogs have their first lead of the game. Well, Evan Lee's been seeing the ball big and hitting the ball hard. I don't know if that had the wind had anything to do with that one. That ball was just a rope out to right field. And a little top spin on it. I don't think that ball got above about 30 feet. Just a line drive just got over the fence there. And Evan Lee, freaking Barilowski, a guy that's been red hot on the mound. He's been very solid his last two outings, throwing a lot of strikes. Wave it a miss. 93. Little floater out in the shallow center, and Shaddy will get there to end the inning. All right, man. Two and a half. He'll lull you to sleep a bit. That may, may be placed in the perfect spot. Jordan with the bobble, but even if he fields it cleanly, I don't think he gets McFarland. There goes McFarland, a well-executed hit and run as Opitz shoots one into left field, and the Hogs have him set up on the corner. Boy, that was picture perfect. Bunts one up the third base line, and he does bunt. Safety squeeze, and it'll work. Kenley with the RBI. McFarland scores, and the Hogs have a three-run lead. Yeah, this team with the lineup they have. Good strikeout by Barry Lewis. Indeed. Strike three called right on that outside corner. Back-to-back -back strikeouts by Lewis. 11 times in his first 20 games, his teams tried to work him off the plate, and he just rifled another one into right center. Martin, who was off with the pitch, will easily glide to third. Where's that throw going? Might get another one. Barrett waiting for that one to come down. Martin will tag. He will score. And the Hogs have made this a slam game. It's now an 8-4 lead. Eight. And so normally they played that game about mid-March. And it was really cold. Down. Wave it a miss. But that one gets by Opitz. So De La Cruz will reach on the strikeout. This is a big guy. Smokes one to left field, back goes Kerstad. Missed it. And he missed it. Maybe a chance for a play at the plate. Kenley doesn't realize that the runner was between third and home. Since then, we've gone walk, E7, wild pitch, and that ball tattooed to left. Kerstad back at the fence, and it is gone, and we are tied. Good start to the bottom of the ninth by Carson Shaddy with a base hit to left field. Hogs have their 10th of the game. Curtis Reddy with another payoff. That's a roller that is a fair ball and will go to the 10th. And Barrett will take a free base to start the 10th inning. You cannot issue a walk to start the 10th. Evan Lee has already had five at bats in this game. Beg your pardon, he's had six at bats. He grounded out to end the bottom. Knocked down by Lee into no man's land. If he catches it, it's an out. If Biggers gets it, it's an out. Big walking lead down that third base line, and the bunt is dropped down. The shovel to the plate is nowhere near in time. And the Warhawks have taken the lead here in the 10th inning. Good pitch, strike three call. Chopper to third. Martin should take it to third base for the force and will to end the inning. But provided free of charge to Arkansas. Little cue shot deep into the hole. Jordan has made 10 errors this year, and his throw is not even close. That'll be an infield base hit for Eric Cole. Cole's not going. And a chance for a double play here. But Martin will beat it. They're going to call Eric Cole safe at second base. So this might be the best angle right here. Again, the cue shot by Martin. Here's the throw. Koski, see if he gets turned around. The second baseman comes across. Did he miss the base right there? Maybe he's just not even touching the base. I mean, Chris Koski is on top of that play. 
Ground ball, base hit left field. Cole had to wait. Now he's going to turn third and try and score, and he will to tie the game at nine. Heston cursed out with his third hit of the game, and the Hogs have aced it away from winning it. ...are guarding against the bunt, and that one drilled Fletcher. Was he offering in the process, or no. did he get the bat out of the way? I think he got the bat out of the way. Well, that one stung. Seven. Curtis, a long pause before the pitch. Chopper up the middle. The throw's going to come home, and it's going to go to the screen, and that's how the Hogs win it. A 10-9 extra inning victory and it wasn't pretty the entire game so why should the ending be pretty yeah just a just a chopper up the middle Jordan it's off balance all his momentum is carrying him toward the first base bag and too much speed by Casey Mard but you're right that was an ugly victory for Arkansas they'll take it and just got to forget this one and, and live for tomorrow